Hey, welcome back guys, my name is Kobolmon, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a simple batch script. So what are batch scripts used for? Basically they're used to um, install a bunch of files at once without having to do it all manually. So let's say you have files at a bunch of different locations but you're trying to you know, install them or, or save them or copy them to a different location, right? So instead of having to go to each individual, individual location manually, go over there and copy paste and then return to um, the place that you're trying to copy it to, you can simply just set up a uh, you know batch script that will do it for you right so let's go ahead and do that so to create a simple batch script is is very simple right <laughs> so let's go ahead and open up our notepad because this is the first thing we will need in order to uh, create a batch script so the first thing we need to do is while well, we have our notepad um, is um, to type in um, command word echo so what that means basically it's going to display all the information that of, of what's what's happening in the background when, when we execute our commands okay so that's all it does right so let's go ahead and uh, test this right so let's go ahead and type in echo and then type in um, welcome to my new batch script and I will show you exactly what happens when we do this so basically this is going to um, whenever we run our batch script this is the first thing that will show up um, as a as a greeting right so let's go ahead and, and save this in order now make sure to save it as a uh, a batch script so in order to do that let's go to I'm just gonna go ahead and point it to our desktop so that way I can easy find it easily find it right so let's go ahead and name it new batch and then make sure you use the extension dot bat so basically it tells it uh, tells Windows that that it's a batch script right so let's go ahead and click save. So and there's our batch script, right? So let's go ahead and click it and see what happens, right? So once we click it, um, nothing happens. And the reason for that is because we did not uh, put place a pause in our batch script. So basically, it, it worked, but it didn't. Um, we didn't get a chance to see it because it happened so fast. So let's just go ahead and hit enter here, and then type in pause. So now when we save, we'll be able to see it uh, once it executes, right? And there it is. So as you can see here, our, our simple batch script so far, all it does is basically it, um, provides a greeting for us. So it says, welcome to my new batch script. Um, and it, it repeated it twice because we typed in echo. But in order to remove that and to remove this part of it, uh, we're going to just gonna type in at echo. So what that's going to do is going to, oh, let's go back to this here. It's going to remove this part here where it says, see users, Kubelman one desktop. And then echo, it's going to remove that part so it only says welcome to my batch script. Okay, and this is just a neat thing. You can do this if you, if you want to. If, if not, that's fine too. It's just a personal preference if you want your batch script to look neat or not. So it's just going to save that. I'm going to close this one, move it out of the way, and let's run our batch script again. Just click it, and you can say this. You can, see, you can tell here that now it doesn't have that previous line that it says see users, Kobuman. Now it just says welcome to my new batch script. Okay, very simple. Okay. Now you probably noticed that when we placed our at sign before the echo command, that only the uh, the first part of it, you know, see yours Kobomon is deleted. So, but if you want to remove all of this, you know, basically all the uh, the paths that it's running and all the commands, um, you can basically just type in echo off, and it's going to do it's going to remove all of these for every command that you're. But I like to I prefer to leave it there so that way I can tell what's going on. And I, we can certainly demonstrate this later on once we have a little bit more in our batch script, okay? So let's just move, go ahead and close this right now. So let's go ahead and make our batch script a little bit more um, useful. Let's make it do something, right? So let's go ahead and uh, tell it to make a simple folder. So in order to do that, we're just going to type in, um, first of all, just hit enter top call times, move it down the line, and just type in M, mkdir. That means make a directory or a folder. And then we can just tell it where to... Uh, Place it. So go ahead and uh, start with a, a quotation marks, so and then type in C colon. And this time we're just going to put it in the, in the root of C. And here we're going to specify the name of it. Let's go ahead and name it test folder, right? So that's fine. So that way, and then you have to close it with the quotation marks, right? So let's just go ahead and save, and then run it, right? So now it actually paused and waiting for us to hit any key before it actually creates a test folder within a root of C. So let me just go ahead and open up open the root of C so that way you can see when it actually creates it, right? So we're here and then we're just going to hit any key. And then you can see how it may create a test folder right there, okay? But let's make it do a little bit more than that, right? Let's go ahead and copy some files into this test folder. So we're just going to leave that there for now. 
and uh, I'm just going to remove this pause right here because we don't uh, we already know that it works, right? So you, anytime you're trying to make sure that something works within a batch group, you can just put pauses in between each command, so that way you can check each individual command, see if it actually execute executed what you're what you're telling it to do, right? So I'm just going to do a simple command of copy, okay? So just going to type in copy, and then this will copy the files from one um, folder to another, right? So let's just go ahead and um, do a copy here, and well, first of all, let's make another. Um, a folder with, uh, on our desktop. We're just going to create a new folder and we're just going to name it um, uh, batch script location. Alright, so let's go ahead and just to uh, uh, have something within that folder, we're just going to copy this batch script that we just made within, into our um, folder. So our folder now is located on a desktop, on our desktop, right? So let's just go ahead and, and uh, copy the content of this folder into our um, test folder that we created in a root of C, right? So, but um, let's see here, just moving this real quick. And <clears throat> at this point, we can remove this um, mkdir command, um, but you can leave it in there. Um, if you're trying, if, if your first part of your batch script is to create a folder, uh, by all means leave that, uh, make a directory command there. But since we already created a folder, and this time I'm just going to move uh, files from one folder to another, we're just going to delete that command because we don't need it anymore. Okay, so go ahead and type in copy. So same deal, open quotation, and then type in, so first you need a, um, a source of, uh, of the um, copy copy from location. So in in our case, it's um, it's on our desktop. So we're just going to type in c colon backslash um, users backslash cobbleman one. That's the name of my local profile that I'm logged on as, and then location desktop, and that's where our batch script folder is located now. And then we're just going to type in batch script and that's the name of our folder so we're going to copy the content of this folder um, into that test um, test folder that we created and then you have to close quotation space open quotation and then you have to set a destination so we're just gonna we know it's in the root of C and we know that it's called um, test folder right so it's called test folder all, all one word right test folder obviously very case sensitive so I don't have to uh, uh, reiterate that at all okay so we're just gonna put a pause in here so that we know that it actually completed successfully right so that you know I that's this is this is this is why I like pauses you know it'll tell you right away if it failed to copy something or not okay so we typed in pause at, at the end and just gonna click go ahead and click save and then we're just gonna run this batch script so as you can tell right now our location folder now has this batch script inside, right? So we're going to copy this into the test folder. So let's go ahead and see if this works, right? Going to run it, and it failed. And the reason it failed because it could not. Oh, okay, I see what I did wrong. Okay, so I uh, mistyped the folder name. So that's a good thing that it happened, right? Location. That's the name of the folder. Batch script location on the desktop right so just gonna save it again and let me close this one this is the one that failed and then run this again and you can you can tell here that it successfully copied this over and that's just to make sure and I'm um, sure enough it, it actually did that right so it, within our test folder in root of C the new batch script is there right so that kinda goes uh, further to prove that you have to be very specific and very um, accurate when it comes to naming the using the commands and of course naming um, using the proper name for the folders that you're trying to copy and the files right so let's see what else can we do with this okay so uh, with the batch script not only can you copy f uh, files within the same uh, host machine or a PC you can also do the same thing copying from for example network storage so let's say you have a you're at, 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 a, at a business place that has a network storage somewhere um, you can copy contents from those folders onto any other location right for example you know in the test folder so let's say you have a, a 
um, folder on a server. It's called, um, okay, so we're just going to type in open quotation backslash backslash. That basically implies that it's a network um, share location. So backslash backslash. Um, let's see here. Um, server location, so whatever your server is, and then backslash again, and then um, content to copy. So let's say that's the content that you're trying to copy uh, within that folder, and then you can just, in this case, let's, you know, we're going to point it to the um, test folder, so let's just do C colon backslash test test folder right so test folder now it's going to copy the content of that folder um, within um, copy uh, the, f the files from the server location to that test folder just like we did with the uh, content from the desktop so there you have it guys this is a very simple bad script to make and it can make a world of difference right you know especially if you don't have time it will save time and, you know, because, you know, you don't want to have to, like, manually copy from every location. This way you just create a batch script. You know, you spend a little bit extra time on a batch script, but that's okay, especially if you're trying to, you know, copy the same content to a bunch of different PCs, right? So you just run the batch script. It does it all for you, and you can do similar things by basically, um, you can do, um, you can also create a Visual Basic batch script in order to assign different folder permissions as well, right? In my previous video, I've demonstrated on how to create a batch script in order to map a network share drive, and I'll go ahead and post a link right here if you'd like to check that out. So, well, there you have it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Please share this video with friends and family, and look forward to more videos. Have a good one. Bye-bye.